Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at how to add symbols to Revit text. My name is Greg Benson Shettle for Address Professional Services. And like so many of the uh, tooltips that we bring you, uh, they're brought out of inquiries that actually come from uh, tech support calls. Uh, people using our tech support service and this is a typical one especially from somebody that has recently migrated from AutoCAD to Revit how do you add symbols you know diameter symbols squared cubed those type of things now in AutoCAD we're very familiar with the process we can simply have a piece of text edit it and here we've got a diameter symbol but we got that symbol from this simple pull down menu it's just there very straightforward however when you're using Revit and we start a text tool piece of text and here and I want to say a raised deck I now want to put in a diameter symbol and we don't have one okay how do we do it we actually need to use the Windows character codes. So what are the Windows character codes? How do we find out? If you go to your start menu and just type in character map, we'll actually bring up the character map. Here it is. Now I've chosen a particular font. There's lots of fonts to choose from obviously, but this particular font uh, I know has, for example, it's got a degree symbol it's got squared, it's got cubed and of course the one I'm really interested in here is the diameter so this is how you can learn what the keystrokes are if we look down here in this corner where it says keystroke alt plus zero two four eight so what this actually means is if we remember that number there we can use that number in Revit let's see how it works Clicking back in here, put my cursor back in the text box. Now this is important, I'm holding the Alt key down on my keyboard, it's the one next to the space bar, and then using the numeric keypad, okay, I'm going to type in there that code for the diameter, which was Alt 0 2 4 8. And when I let go, the diameter symbol magically appears. So then I could put in a distance and that's how you add symbols in Revit I've made a little note of some of the common ones here for you okay it's as simple as that he says so remember your alt codes and remember it's important to use the numeric keypad don't use the numbers running across the top of your keypad those won't work hope you found it useful bye for now